everyone, Trace here. Today we'll be making this card that I'm calling Field of Flowers. And it's for the May May Made It Instagram design team challenge. And that challenge is to use any of the May May Made It flower stamps. And the challenge is called May Flowers. So this is what I came up with for that challenge. Isn't this so cute with the fence and the flowers and a little bit of bling with the sequence and of course a butterfly. Gotta have the butterfly. So we're gonna show you how that is done. What you're gonna need to make this card is some art glitter glue, some distress ink in picked raspberry, and mermaid lagoon, and mustard seed, and memento, inks. I'm using grape jelly, bamboo leaves, and lilac posies. And for the stamp sets that I'm using quite a bit of them to, to get what I need out of that. The garden party one is a lot of the flowers. This one is so much fun. Such a variety of flowers and leaves. Definitely use that one. And Mandy's tulips, I am using just the actual stems for that one. And this one also, I'm just using the stem. This is Sunflower Wishes. And the last one, I am using the sentiments from this. This is the uh, St. Jude one. This is called You Make Me Happy. And the sentiments are just small enough that what I needed for it and I'll show you why. So that's all you need and maybe some sequins if you prefer and also these butterfly sequins. I found those at Michael's in the kids craft aisle where all the sequins is and that will do it. Let's get started. So the first thing you want to do is die cut your fences. And I got this die from a UK magazine. It's a UK card making magazine where you always get a little free die cut or stamps or something along with the magazine. And that is where I got this, this here. I'm not sure which issue and I don't even remember which magazine, <laughs> but that is where I got that. I'm sure you can find a lot of um, fence dies or you could just cut that yourself pretty easily. So I'm using 65 pound cardstock and it is pretty flimsy. Um, so I want to make this really thick and so it actually kind of stands out from the card and I'm not even using any foam on that. <laughs> that is just, uh, what I'm doing is three layers of cardstock on top of each other. So I'm just, I just cut a lot of these and I'm just going to glue three of those together. Make sure they're nice and even so they look like they're just one hard cardstock. So go ahead and do that. This card will be along the long ways and I can fit three of these fences. I'm going to cut a little bit off here of the, 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 the prongs here at the end just so it can fit. So go ahead and glue those down and then we're going to get started on stamping. So I took the fence and I put it on the paper and I put little notches with a pencil just so I have an idea of where my fence is going to be. So I can stamp below that because you'll see little bits of it but I don't have to go crazy and stamp a lot on that area. So I'm taking the, the stem stamp here and some bamboo leaves, memento, and I just really love this color. And so I'm inking it up and the stamp does arch naturally. That's how it's made. So I would actually use both sides of it because it arches on either side. So I just kind of randomly change it over. And so some of them I stamp higher and some of them lower. Kind of like this, a little bit differently. And this is what I mean by turning it over 
and then it'll arch the other direction. So let me stamp up. So I'm going to ink that up and stamp down. And I put a few of these in there. I don't go too, too crazy about these. I like them because they're, they're a little bit wider. So I use these a lot. And some I want to go a little bit higher. Probably one or two more. That's maybe one more. Okay, so I'll stop there. Next, I'm going to move to a different stamp. I'm going to clean that off first. So this stamp is straight, but with stamps like this, you can manipulate them any way you want. Uh, so I do want to put a little bit of a bend to it. So it will bend, and then I'll stick it down. So it just gives me a little bit of a arch to it. Kind of in nature, kind of like a breeze blowing. And I am going to overlap some of these. And I'm also going to go a little bit higher. So what I'll do with that is I'll extend that a little bit more. And like I said, the fence is going to cover that. So I'm not too worried about that area on what that looks like. So I'm going to do a few more. This orientation, I'm going to stamp, stamp off. Now I'm going to arch it the other direction. Like that, and then I'm going to stamp some more. And get extend that stamp a little bit more. That's a good area. And so I'm not going to do a whole lot of these either. I have some other fillers that I will do, but I really like how that looks so far. And I'm going to move on to the next stamp. So next comes the really fun part with the flowers. I'm going to stamp this. It's, it resembles a rose to me, so I like to do it in pink. Or just about pink, pink or red, any of your colors that you have. But this one is a Lilac Posies. I'm stamping basically on top where a stem ends. And I do like to do three, so that kind of is aesthetic. So I'll use those three, and I will move on to a different one. So I'm just going to go ahead and fill up this whole thing with some flowers, and I'll come back and show you the fillers that I put in. So for the filler, I use some of these smaller leaves clusters, and I just put that everywhere. I want some filler and it looks really nice where more greenery is needed. And I really like how this has the smaller leaves and it gives it a little bit of a variety of the greenery where it's not all just the stems. So I'll put a few more and then I will go on to a different one. Then I also have the single leaves that I really like. I'll switch that out. And this really fills in a lot. You can see where that looks really nice. And you can move these any way you want to depending on the orientation you want them. Really fun. I love doing this project. And in just a second, I'm going to tell you about how I'm doing an ATC, which is a artist trading card. And 
I figured since I have everything out, I might as well do one of those or two of those or a hundred of those, whatever you prefer, with you know everything you have out, might as well do something else along with your card. And so that looks good. I think I'm going to stop there, possibly, <laughs> maybe a few more. And then I'm going to pretty much finish up with the fence and some sequins. And I'll show you my ATC and I'll tell you a little bit about those. So I finished up this card here and I'll show you what I did with the ATC. As I was stamping the card, I just was also stamping this ATC. And what this is, is I explained a little bit ago, but this is an um, artist trading card. And the measurement for that is two and a half by three and a half. And what you do is you decorate it any way you want, design it any way you want. If you're a painter, you can paint it, stamp it, do anything really that you want. Um, then you, when you go to conventions, which I'll be teaching um, a May May Made It um, convention in Tennessee in September. So when you go to those conventions or any kind of a gathering where there's a lot of crafters, a lot of them will have these and you trade them with other folks. And you typically put your name on the back and so they know, you know who, you, who made it and who gave it to them. And so they're really a lot of fun because you can do anything you want to them. And it's just really fun. So I'm just going to decorate this real quick. And I'm going to add the fence just like I did with the card. <clears throat> My voice is going a little bit here. Hopefully it'll stay with me for just a little while. <laughs> <clears throat> So I'm just attaching the fence and then I'm going to add the other embellishments. This here is just a, a three of the spokes or so rings. I don't know what they were called, but um, I cut those off and I added three of them together. And I used that sentiment there for from that other stamp set because they were so small to fit onto that. That's what I figured would be a good size. So I just added that and these little butterflies and I will be almost finished and just add a couple sequins. So that will do it for this and so I did the two cards and the ATC. So when you're making cards and you have it all out, might as well make some of these to trade with your crafty friends. Thank you so much for watching and subscribe and like I, I, uh, and comment. I love to read all those and also hit the, the bell to, to get notifications when I have new videos up. And uh, I will see you next time. Have a great day.